Hello guys, are you ready to dive into the ultimate guide on getting some of the rarest and most epic free huge pets in Pet Simulator 99 on Roblox? From the elusive huge angel dog to mastering the art of finding Poseidon's corgi? Well, today we're going to go over all the secrets on how to get these rare huge pets. So buckle up, be sure to hit that like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel and let's get into the video. One. Oh my god, no way, no way, no way. Okay, so... Now that we're back in spawn, uh, the first thing we're gonna look at is getting the first huge of the day. We're gonna go over to our pet collection, have a look over here, and the first one we're gonna look at is the angel dog. So the huge angel dog. As we can see, none of them exist yet. This is probably one of the rarest huges in the game right now. I think maybe two of them have been hatched, and it doesn't show up just yet, but I think two of them have been hatched. Um, to get this, we have a look at our achievements. Um, it's down here, let me see. Is it real achievement? So, as you can see, I've got the first part of this achievement called falling down. I'm gonna show you how to get this so that you can try and attempt to get the huge angel dog. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna to do to get this huge angel dog is to head to one of the obbies. I'm going to choose the jungle obby. It works best for me. So we go to the area 18, jungle temple. And then we're going to simply enter the jungle obby. We're going to jump straight into the toxic acid. And then we're going to hit the home button and that will then put us into heaven, hopefully. So you hear the death message, you press home, and now you'll be falling through the air where you will then find yourself a stairway to heaven. This will get you that first achievement I was talking about earlier. Now, in order to actually get the huge angel dog, you're going to have to climb these stairs possibly forever. What actually happens is as you're climbing these stairs, um, it'll randomly generate a new set of stairs every time you get around a loop. So once you've done a full rotation, um, it'll actually generate a new set of stairs. Um, so, and you'll get all these pop-ups here. I wonder if there's anything at the top. Um, you have about a one in a million chance of the next set of stairs spawning being the walkway to the huge angel dog. Um, that's why it's so rare. It's one in a million. It takes you a long time, but you are guaranteed a huge angel dog at the end of it if you do it long enough. Okay, now... Let's jump in to the next huge pet. Okay, so the next area you're, you're going to want to travel to is area 27, Pirate Tavern. This is where we're going to have the chance to hatch or catch, more likely, the huge Poseidon Corgi. Now, this is probably one of the more fun mini games. Um, I recommend if you can getting a golden fishing rod as you can see over here I'm only up to the second fishing rod I haven't done a lot of fishing yet um, but that will definitely help with your catch times meaning that you'll have more chances of getting this pet okay also doing this with friends can make it a lot more fun but what you're gonna, what you're gonna want to do is try and catch as many of these fish or items as possible by keeping this green bar in line with the bauble so we're going to keep trying to hatch it. One for good luck. Let's see. What can we get? Hopefully, imagine this could be a huge. All right, damn. One more, one more. Let's see what we can do. Okay, let's go. And then as you're catching more of these fish, you'll get more coins and that'll let you get better fishing rods if you want to stay free to play or don't want to waste your diamonds. So as you can see, I've got 173 of these coins over here. I can then spend these on upgrading my fishing rods. All right, let's jump to the next area. Okay, so the next area that you can get a huge in, a free huge, is area 30, fossil dig site. Now, this is probably my favorite looking huge in the game, the huge fossil dragon. This is one that I'm gonna be definitely trying to get over the next couple of weeks. Um, it's my favorite pet, so you guys should like it too. Okay, so the way we, we're going to get this is actually by digging. As you can see, there's all these different things we can collect as we're digging as well. So, you know, there's lots of bonuses to this. I'm actually going to show you the most efficient digging process in my mind. 
Uh, this is how I like to do it. So what I do is I always start in a corner. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna go too deep to show you um, how I do it. So I start in a corner. I'm just gonna go through the first couple layers really quickly. So as you can see, I can see that one on that side there. Cool, we'll stop here and we'll go back up and I'll show you how I do my pattern. So we'll go there, then we wanna go one, two, three ahead. So now if you can actually see, when I dug down, I can see this square and that square. So by digging down in that corner, I could see this square here and I could see this square here. And now I can also go down here. So what will actually happen, it means that you don't have to dig more than one row. Okay, we'll go back to the top and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so when I was in this square, I could see this square. When I was in this square, I could see this square. So I can see that square. I can now see that square when I dig in this hole here and that square. So I think this is the most efficient per row. And then I'm gonna show you what happens when you wanna to go to the next row. Okay, let's see if we can find another couple chests here. This is also really good for your achievements that you're trying to do on the side while ranking up. So what I like to do is I was in this row. I wanna go one, two across this way. So one, two, and then up one. So now I can see that one there, that one there, that one there. So I can see those four. I could see that one before. I could see that one before. The only one we miss out on is this middle column here. Okay. So we dig down and we just keep digging straight down every time. Straight down. And it looks like someone's already taken a fair few of the chests out of this lobby. And that's fine. We're going to get back to the top and I'll show you again. So before we dug down there, one, two, and then on the third one, we go again, as you'll notice, that's where our hole was before. It's three across this way. Okay, let's go see if we can find something quickly on this one. And then we're gonna move to the next huge pet. Okay, there we go, we got another, another chest up there. And last one for the row, just so you know what it looks like and how you can do it yourself. One, two, three, we're up here. So we can see that one, that one, that one. We're gonna miss out on that one. Okay, let's go. Another quick one. Hopefully we get a quick little chest on the way down. There we go, got a chest. All right, and same as the fishing area, you can buy new shovels. I'm actually up to the best one here because I am really trying to get this huge fossil dragon. All right, next I'll see you over at the eggs. Let's go. Okay, so the next pets I'm gonna show you how to hatch is actually literally hatching them from the eggs. So the best egg, no matter what it is, at the moment that's egg 87. Um, You'll have to be rebirth too as well to be able to have the chance at getting these eggs, um, these huges from the eggs. But at the moment, you can see these three huges are in rotation. They're in rotation for the next 21 hours. Um, next, they'll probably change out. There'll probably be a couple of the same. Um, but to do this, so we go to area uh, egg 87. Uh, I'm going to show you really quickly what enchants I like to use for this. Um, at the moment. Uh, I like to use four of my huge hunters. I found that only three sort of stack together on any enchant. So three, or I, I like to use four just to make sure. And then I like to use three of my shiny hunters and my best lucky eggs that I have at the moment, which is lucky eggs six. That's what I like to use for the eggs. Let's see if we can hatch a couple here. I'm gonna just do a couple quick hatches and see if we can get anything. All right, I'll see you back in a second. No luck there, uh, but uh, as you can see, I've been hatching for ages. I've been doing plenty of hatching, AFK, hours and hours and hours, yet to get a huge yet, but hopefully in the next couple of days, I can get at least one of the huges from up there. Um, what I will be doing is giving away some pets to anyone who likes, comments, and subscribes. So put a comment down, let me know that you've done it, and I'll try and give you some pets. Leave your username in the comments with your comment. Also, I've been looking to figure out if I can get a name for my huge doodle fairy. So, I will be giving away one of my exclusives that I have um, to the best comment for the name for my huge doodle fairy. Rem remember that it is rainbow. Um, it's definitely my best pet and I need a new name for it. So, best comment will receive a exclusive pet so make sure you leave your comment with your username and that way i can send it through the mailbox over in the castle area it's out here it's right near spawn um, there are two mini games you can play 
uh, both in which you can get a huge pet. This one you can get a huge propeller cap uh, as a jackpot prize and over here you can get the huge wizard Westie. Uh, let's open up some right now. Let's see if we can get some. Oh, so close. It always does this. One off the 0.1%. Okay, let's see. Go again. Come on. No, don't do it. Oh, yeah, the 0.1%. 50% got the gems. This happens just about every time. Oh, nice. A couple of bananas. I need those. Okay. Let's see what we've got. All right. Oh, so close. I would have been mad if I got the 0.1% on the large gifts anyway. All right. Here we go. Oh, Charmstone would have been nice. Some more bananas. Can't wait to get some more coins. They'll be really useful in the next update. All right. Oh, I just missed it again. I'm don't really need the damage potions at the moment anyway. Lightning, we're not really looking for. Um, if you want to speed up this process, just in case you have a lot of tickets similar to me, um, what you can do is actually spin, close, and you'll find what you get. So you can spin, close, spin, close, spin, close. Let's see if we can get one with a propeller. Oh, well, here we go. A chance at the huge propeller cat. Here we go. Let's go, Let's see if we can get it. Oh my god, no way, no way. Oh. It was never going to be it. <laughs> Here we go. Alright, not on that board. Not on that board. Here we go. Huge propeller, propeller cat. Huge propeller cat. I'm really feeling lucky this time. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, eight. <gasps> oh. Every time. All right, we'll do a couple more of these, then we'll open up some keys and then I'll show you the last way to get a huge pet in Pet Simulator 99. Ooh, strong pet's four. That'll be really handy. Wish we got the five, but four was good enough. All right, let's go. I'm feeling it on the second key. What do we get? So you can see here, you get plenty of items as well from this. So it's, I don't know if it's worth it. I'd prefer to sell my keys, I think, especially if you're just starting out, get some diamonds to help them buy some better pets. Let's see, we've got three of them. All right, one more. Let's see if we can get it. No, nah. no huge wizard Westy coming our way. I've even got my luck potions on. I've got my huge hunters on, nothing, nothing helps. All right, let's see, one more. Maybe run away, see if it comes to us. No, no huge wizard Westy. Okay, the next area you're gonna to wanna to travel to is area 45 Lava Forest. This is where you'll find the Chest Rush mini game. This is probably one of my favorites. So, you'll need to equip your best team. You're also gonna to wanna to use probably some kind of treasure hunter potion and make sure you've got the right enchants on before you enter. This is pretty crucial. So, as many treasure hunters as you can put on, a strong pets, criticals is really helpful. That'll help you do a lot of damage. Um, well, we don't really need a chest mimic on while we're doing this one. Uh, let's go another criticals. Ah, oh, why not a third criticals? Um, a strong pet and always make sure to have a, a magnet on. All right. Um, also, if you want, especially if your pets aren't that great, um, you can always put on a speed potion. That will help you move faster as well through this game mode, you'll see. All right, let's see if we can get lucky. So this has the huge fire horse. Um, it's I think probably my second favorite huge in the game right now. So I'd love to get it. Let's see if we can get it. Okay. So you're gonna to wanna to hit these chests as hard as you can. As you're just starting out, this is actually gonna be really hard. With the team that I have right now, I break these chests almost instantly, which is great. Um, the first two chest spots over here actually have 0% chance of getting that huge. You don't actually start getting a huge chance until this chest here. So here we go. Okay, and the best chance of getting you huge is when you break this chest right here. Let's see if we can do it. Mm, doesn't look like we got it. Unlucky. But you still have a chance for about 4 minutes 30 here. Every single thing that you break here does have a, a chance, even though it's very small, to hatch one of these huge fire horses. Wow. One rainbow huge fire horse exists. So you can see there's 1.3K of these. So it's not that rare, it's it's rare, but it's definitely doable. If you do this every half, I mean, I think it's every two hours, you can come do this. So if you do this every two hours, um, 
you can definitely have a decent chance of getting this. All right, I'm gonna speed this up for you guys, see if we get it. Uh, let's go. Okay, now that that's done, let's head over to the trading plaza. This is actually the final area where you can get huges. Now, it's not as easy, it's not free. Um, you do have to earn your diamonds, but there's plenty of methods on YouTube uh, that you can look up or TikTok, whatever you use, um, to find the best diamond farming methods at the moment. Um, I recommend using Treasure Hunter. That's usually how I try and get my diamonds. But what you're gonna have to have a look for is actually this pet. Let's have a look over here in the index. So what you're gonna look for is actually the huge happy rocks. At the moment, these are probably the cheapest huges that you can get, around six mil at the moment. Um, so what we can do, let's actually head over here. And if you wanna have a look around, if you wanna shop around, this is probably the best area where you can go. So you can get a huge happy, happy rock, click it here, click yes. And let's see, it'll take us straight to a server with a huge happy rock in it. Um, the prices are fluctuating at the moment, um, so I try not to overpay. The best way is to shop around, ask for a deal, maybe chuck in some bonus items. So you can see here, six mil, that's actually pretty good. Um, or there's a huge hell rock as well for 6.1. So if he's selling that for six mil, it might be worth going up to there, looking for his name, going to the trade and going like, hey, is there any chance that you take 5.5 as well as chucking in a good enchant or maybe a, a lot of keys or large gift bags, whatever you've got, you know, whatever you have to give, add it to the trade, see if you can get a better deal. All right. This is going to be it for the video. So this is my first video. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave your username in the comment with your uh, best name for my huge doodle fairy. And I will be picking a winner and showing that in the next video. All right. Thank you guys for watching to the end. Peace out. Goodbye.